If you're someone starting in the digital illustration journey or if you're someone who is just going to have the quick sketch for the day this is the right illustration for you because this have saved my day today so i want to share with you and we are starting off with painting the sky to paint the sky i'm just using my good old friend coarse watercolor brush to add the lighter and the darker shade for sky and then i'm using my bestie wash brush with the highest setting to slowly brush it across so you are not going to do anything different here just smudging the darker and the lighter shade once done we are just going to smudge in the middle and bring it all together like it is a night and then we are done with the sky layer once done we are going to add a new layer for the grass layer imagine you're standing at a distance and taking photo of the sky because it's look beautiful then suddenly you happen to click the picture of thunder so this is a grass at a highland and i'm using dry ink brush for this and actually i'm just adding a few stroke here and there you can just let this as it is but if you want to go any extra like me you can add few leaves and few flowers for the grass and then it like it look little bit more put together that's the entire reason of it and once we are done we'll be going into the final and the most easiest step how to crack a thunder in autodesk sketchbook come on i actually love drawing thunder but i never actually posted it because i felt it's very simple and today i was on a quick run and i'm just like why don't post this in list and i've always done this let me just share it among my friends as well so while this is happening in the backdrop, let me quickly introduce myself. I'm Rena, your host, and also I'm a listener, content creator, podcaster, and a newsletter writer uh, for this channel, iPad Fashion Drawing. If you are new, please make sure to subscribe because there's so many interesting things happening in our community. Most of the time, it's your recommendation, which I end up illustrating, or sometimes it is my favorite I share with you, and then you ended up liking. And the newsletter is actually a pin down of my heart feeling for the week, whatever happened, what I learned, and how you can overcome the upcoming week by initiating whatever i have done implementing what i have written and it is very simple because i share the podcast i share my book i share code and sometimes i share why is the reason behind the illustration what happened on that week that i happened to illustrate because i truly believe that every art of yours is directly connected to your heart that's what our channel podcast name is it's art to heart if you have not yet listened to you should definitely go ahead and listen i'll make sure to leave both the link in the cue card and also in the description and thank you very much for my existing subscriber because your support matters a lot. I'm truly grateful for all my subscribers and viewers, whoever watch me, likes the video and share it among your friends because it is something which is very close to my heart. And also I feel like we all have to use our creative side of the brain, even though I feel like everyone are born artists. We are we have something built within us, but over the period of time we just let it go and settle down and now we are on the show top or itself to paint the thunder and all we are going to do is add a new layer beneath the grass layer because the thunder is going to be behind it not on top of it and then we are just going to use our good old favorite glow neon brush here and i'm pick the same color as the sky layer and then using freehand i'm going to slowly give those curvy structure and making it look like a thunder and then i'm going to use the layer option as glow and oh my gosh this looks realistic but we need to add few more steps here i'm going to copy paste on the top and bottom of the thunder and i'm going to reduce the opacity of the layer once the opacity is reduced i'm going to slowly smudge it across making it look not so roughy but a little bit smoother like a thunder I'm happy how this thunder currently looks like at the same time we are going to add a few more brush stroke here and there we are just copy and pasting aligning it in between and then we are done with a smudging and so we are going to add a new layer for our sky layer I think this is something we should actually add it at the very end you don't have to do you can just finish up with this once you are done blending the layer and if you are not uh, happy with the blending and so you can actually go above and beyond by just adding two more layer and reduce the opacity of it and now i'm slowly blending it across these are all in the real speed there is nothing uh, fast or anything it's just in a normal however i listed there is not in a 2x speed is in the original speed of the video and then once done we are just going to add a new layer for the rain layer and then i'm going to use um technical pen for that because i felt like it is much more easier for me and then i'm just going to add few stroke of rain here and there and once i'm done adding it i'm going to slowly use 
our trusty hair brush from the artist column to slowly blend it across to make it look a little bit more whiny and once that is done i am done with the illustration hope you guys have enjoyed the illustration if you so let me know in the comment which next video are you looking forward to because i'm happy to illustrate and also if you have not yet subscribed please make sure to subscribe it means a lot to our community and also means a lot to me and make sure to be a subscriber for our weekly newsletter which is free newsletter from my channel to your inbox and also every sunday we do have a podcast for our channel where i talk about out of life in a different form and format and once we are done we will be finishing off this entire illustration from being blank to uh, being the entire thunder whenever you see thunder which of the song do you remember for me it is definitely imagine triangles thunder song i really enjoyed listening to it but for a long time i've stopped listening to music itself so sometimes i do listen sometimes i'm not if you're a fan of um thunder song let me know in the comment if you are a fan of imagine dragons let me know in the comment below maybe we do have something in common other than illustration maybe we are creative as always stay curious stay creative we are at the end of illustration thank you very much for your support see you all tomorrow till then have a great life enjoy yourself every second matters spend time with your loved ones spend time with the right people because you being in the presence of right people actually change your life how it is so enjoy every moment be thankful be grateful and you are just one more stop ahead from whatever you are dreaming for or you might have already achieved so thank you very much see you all tomorrow bye bye